So this is iOS 11. As you can tell, there's just a little bug right here. Oh, but that will get fixed in the next one. Um, what is the same about this? Of course, we've got um, right off the lock screen, same thing right here. Um, with weather and everything, spotlight search is still there. Um, we do have the camera when you roll to the side. Press the home button. We've got our all new control center. Um, this is very cool. Now this is a 5S, remember? So we do we do not have 3D touch, but if you long press on it, you will get the same features that you do on a 3D touch device. And the ones that won't will not. Like that opens up. That will. That will, just like that. Just like so. Okay, so moving on. Now that we are into our phone, and you just saw that. So, this, of course, as I said, is a secondary device, so I use it for some things, some things I don't. Um, but right off the bat, I did notice some things in. Um, we're just gonna go through the apps across. So, right off the bat, we've got right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to like something I haven't talked to in a while. We'll go here. So, if we click on our thing right here. We got all these apps. This is redes this is what I meant by the redesigned app drawer. We've got all these cool new app drawer things. Um and then right here, that'll go back once you're done. So once you go back and click it, go to store, visit store, and with this they did redesign this also. But we'll get to that later. That really is the only thing that changed in iMessage this year. By going to calendar, um, nothing really was changed here except for the font. The font changed, um, and that's it. Photos, photos didn't change much either. Um, we do have um, memories was updated a little bit. Um, that that's about it there. Camera, nothing changed. Weather. Now, weather is one that I wanted to see updated a little bit. I'm glad they updated it more. Um, it looks a little better. Um, that's it. It will not load, but... Um, okay. So, we'll get to that. Wait, hold on. Okay, so now that we are using, um, I'm using my phone as a hotspot, um, because my Wi-Fi is out. As you can tell, we got our normal hourly temperature right here. Um, our current temperature, our hourly temperatures. We got our weekly seven-day temperatures, um, and forecast. We've got the extended wordy forecast, and then we've got this extra information down here. The sunrise, sunset. Our chance of rain, humidity, our wind, what it feels like, precipitation, um, barometric pressure, the visibility uh, range, and then our UV index for the day. Um, yeah, I would really wish they would have added maybe like radar or something, um, but that that's fine. 
Um, our clock didn't change either. Um, we still got the same things. Um, but the one thing that did change in here is timer. Now, if you didn't notice, not only could you do it before, we'll bring it up right here. So you can only do hours and minutes. Well, now you can even do seconds. So say there's something where I need to time it for 30 seconds. Well, now I can set a clock for 30 seconds, which is really cool. That's really the only thing that's changed there. Moving on, TV. Um, TV app was introduced in 10.3, if you do not remember. Um, but now we have it. And it's been improved a little. Uh, this app will probably not be uh, redone that much. Let's see, we got the same thing as last time. It, this one didn't really change much either. Wallet didn't change. Um, notes, very, very changed. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Um, oh. Yes, we got some. That one didn't really change either. Reminder didn't change. Maps. Maps was pr a pretty good update. Um, so when you're driving, um, th this was very cool. It will give you lane guidance. Um, so say I have to turn, well, which way do not want me to turn? If I'm going to this house down here, it'll have two arrows. Actually, hold on. If I'm going to this house over here, well, I have three ways. I can either go this way, this way, or this way. It'll tell it'll have three arrows and it'll light up to go this way. So that's one. We'll go to my closest Apple store here. Uh, actually, no. Um, but we will. So here we got JFK Airport. Um, this will be that this will have un, m along with many um, airports, major airports, and malls. They will all have directories and guidance through these places. So that's another cool update. Stocks iBooks and iTunes did not receive an update. The App Store got a major overhaul. This hasn't been updated or changed in nine years. And so they decided, hey, why not? So here we got a new tab called Today. And this will show you different things of what's going on today in the App Store. So then we got another tab for games. And this is just games. That's it. It'll show you new games what people are playing, an editor's choice, new games, um, rediscover this, maybe try something new. Um, this is new games that they love. They got like Star Wars puzzle droids. Oh, excuse me. Robot Unicorn Attack 3. Yeah, that's a big one, I guess. Um, and then, the, of course, top paid apps, the top free apps, um, right there. That's great. We've got one just for apps. So this is every app other than games, basically. So, Airnib. Um, we've got Mammals by TinyBot. Bop. That's really weird. We got 
Messenger. So we got our top free and top paid ones here too. All sorts of stuff. Even Blue Apron. And then of course we got our regular update and search as well. News, home, and health didn't receive updates along with watch, none of them. But settings I will um, bring to you a couple here. Um, if we do go through control center, um, that is the new redesigned. This is where you go in settings to add these things. So you can add all these things. I'll let you look at them. And then there's the controls as well. And some of those are only for if you have the apps. We got a new Do Not Disturb. Um, it is Do Not Disturb While Driving. Um, so it uses satellite and everything to know that you are in movement in a car. And it will prompt you to not do anything. And you can break through that. Um, and say, well, what if I'm in the passenger seat? Well, you can prompt that and bypass it and tell it that you are not driving. It's basically to save lives on the road and stuff, basically. Going under general, um, not much here. Um, but we do have a new button down here called shut down. Um, so this will shut down your device instead of holding down the power button up here or on the six over here um, for that. Going on down we do have a new wallpaper um, this is what it looks like this is our new still wallpaper for iOS 10 we did take out some of the other ones um, as they always do I wish they'd just leave them but oh well Moving on, um, we do have a new tab called Emergency SOS, um, so you can um, turn on auto, auto call and set up emergency contacts just in case um, something happens. We do have a new Siri. Um, we do have a new Siri. Uh, we do, and she sounds, or he sounds just like this. Virtual assistant. I'm Siri, your virtual assistant. So he or she sounds much more lifelike this I'm time. I'm Siri, your virtual assistant. 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 So they sound much more lifelike now. Um, it's almost getting scary at the point now. Um, but that's what that's what's really cool about it. Um, and it's scary, it can be for some. To me, it's not. I think it's great that they're making them more lifelike. Uh, yeah. Nothing in Touch ID. That's about it for everything else. Um, now they did kick out uh, Facebook and Twitter in here, so you no longer see that. You do have to scroll. It's not there. Twitter's there. Um, and so is Facebook. So now it's down with the rest of the apps, unlike how it used to be up here. So that is it for settings. Um, as you did, we do have a different app switcher now. And Siri pops up a little different. And the phone froze. There we go. So right there. Um, now if you did notice our dock, we don't have any names down here. Um, watch this. Brings the name right back. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, then disappears the name. I don't know if that's for everyone or just me, but personally I love that. Oops.
Moving on, we did get a new redesign of the calculator app. As you can tell, we got a new um, bubble. We have a new layout for it, and if we do turn it sideways, it goes with the same new as well. Podcasts and all of these weren't changed that much. Um, but we do have a new app called Files. It was really introduced for the um, iPad, but they did say what it is for I for the iPhone also. So it's basically um, the iOS version of Mac Finder. Um, this app is only for if you do have the beta. And that's it. Um, so now to head into a couple different things. Um, if you can tell, we do have a new animation when opening our um, apps in the background. Watch the background here slightly. So it does change. Um, we'll open a couple different apps here. So we do have a new app switcher. Um, looks kind of different. They pop too. Um, and then you have nothing here. I don't know if that'll change by the release in the fall or not. But we'll find out. Notification Center has changed as well. Um, you swipe from the top and you get your lock screen. Um, but it doesn't. it's not actually your lock screen. And then you pull up to look at all your other um, notifications. Uh, that's about it. Please tell me if you do find any more. Um, please let me know down below. And I will let you know in a separate video. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.